Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today's look is going to be achieved by using this palette called My Tubes Cosmetics, and you can't really see this because my brightness is just doing something weird. Um, here it is, My Tubes Cosmetics today. I partnered up with this company to bring you guys this look today. Every color that is on my eyelids has been from this palette right here. If you guys are interested in a promo code, it's Kayla15, as in Kayla15, C-H-A-E-L-L-A-1-5. I'll leave that in the description box below, and I'll also leave a link to this palette if you guys are interested in it. That's basically it. We're just gonna get right into it because I really do hate long intros. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so this is the, I don't know, this lighting is like really bad. Let me see if I could like, okay. Yeah, so it comes in like the slidey pocket thing on the back. It also has the name of each color. So these are the colors. As you guys can see, I already attempted to swash this palette. Um, I'm just thinking right now if I should like swash this again. It is pigmented. I will say that it is pigmented. Um, the colors are... Like, as you guys can see, they have their shimmery colors on the bottom. So as I am with you right now, I still do not know exactly what look I'm going for. Like, we're still trying to figure that out, me and the congregation being you, we're still trying to figure that out. But as I do that, I want to at least go into my um, lid and cover it with my Tarte Creaseless Concealer in the shade 50H Deep. And I'm just going to use that as a base so that um, just in case the colors aren't as pigmented as I think, because you know how sometimes swatching isn't the best example as to how pigmented a color is. I'm just going to use this as my insurance policy and if it doesn't work on top of that, then it ain't me. Because I already did my foundation and concealer and these colors look very shimmery and glittery, I want to make sure that it doesn't kind of mess up my under eyes. So I'm just going to pad in some powder, my Laura Mercier powder, and just let it sit throughout the duration of this whole process. The first color that I am going to go in with is the shade Camilla and that's this chocolate one over here and I'm just going to take it towards my outer corner right here and just work that on my lid. Initially like the second you dab onto this palette you do get some fallout but it doesn't really bother me as much as long as it's pigmented and it picks up, so. So initially I realized, um, I pat it in first and then I work my way up. I feel like it just makes it easier to move around. Um, but so far it's not, it's actually a nice pigment. Like in on camera, I think it is picking up, but it is a lot more chocolatey brown in person. And like on camera, it just looks like I'm dying. But in real life, I still am dying, but the colors look beautiful. Now that Camilla, I kind of like these names, Camilla. Uh, now that Camilla is all blended out, on top of that, I'm gonna go in with Loli, right here, she cute. And I'm going to work that into closer to my brow bone to kind of lighten it up a bit.
Okay, so I already started this eye. So what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to do a cut crease. So this is going to just be a really simple cut crease, we're not doing multiple layers of colors. We're just going to go in with um, Lilo and we are going to just pack that in. Okay. So just to add a little bit more, I went in to my outer corner and then I added Camilla just to blend in the cut crease and the sh chocolate brown shade that I had over here. But I'm also going to go back in with Camilla and I'm just going to clean this brush first. I'm going to add a little bit of Camilla under where I added, what's your name again? Tierra just smoke that out a bit we did that I'm gonna go in and I'm going to clean up my brows and put on some falsies and I'll be right back to just finish with the blush and everything else okay so I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna go in with my fit me Maybelline blush in the shade 55 and I'm just gonna pack that baby in so I'm gonna go in oh my gosh this looks really dirty but this is my Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit and I'm gonna go in with amber gold just to like make the subtle pink that I have under and the pink that I have like on my brow bone pop a bit more So before I go into my lips, first thing first, I'm going to moisturize with some Vaseline because you don't want to be doing no matte color with dry, ashy lips, man. You about to start a fire. So to make this color really pop, I'm going to go in with my NYX liner in the shade, um, I believe, dark brown, and I'm just going to line the outer corner of my lips. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my um, Fenty lip paint in the shade Unveil and I'm just going to apply that kind of like a liner. I'm not going to take it towards the center, but everywhere but. And for the center, I'm going to go in with Uncuffed by Fenty Beauty and I'm just going to put a little bit of that in the center. So this is the final look. I'm actually thoroughly surprised that I was able to like get this much pigment in the look because usually with brands that you don't know or you haven't heard of most of the times they aren't really that chocolate girl friendly but these colors were really blendable really easy to use I will say my only issue and I don't think it's an issue I just feel like that's more of a personal preference is that the consistency of the palette is more creamy than I had initially thought it would be um, more so like there was a lot more blending because you know it it was a creamier texture than usual where you just would like pad and blend so it took a little bit of work but I was still able to like blend out the brown and the pink and the um, glitter shade Lilo that I use in this look so other than that I feel like this palette is really affordable it comes in how many shades 12 it has 12 shades it retails I believe for 24 
for $22, $24. I may not be too sure on that, but I'll definitely link that in the description box below just in case you guys are interested in that. And like I said before, I do have a promo code. It's Kayla15, C-H-A-E-L-L-A-1-5. So if you guys are interested in that, be sure to use my promo code so you guys can get a discount. Also, if you guys want to see more palette reviews, let me know in the comment section below which ones you guys want to see. Also, don't forget to subscribe hit that like button hit that bell notification button just hit all the buttons and let me know you're here and honestly it's just a mutual love and respect for one another that i feel like we can both benefit from so thank you again for watching this video this is all i have for you guys for today and i will see you guys in the next video bye